60 some days until Christmas. It might be a little early to get into the Christmas spirit, but not in St. George, Ontario. Not too early at all. And it's all because of a seven-year-old named Evan Liversage. You want to hear his story? There's his, in these pictures, there's his mom, there's St. George, there's his mom in those pictures, and look who's with me this morning. Nicole Wellwood in St. George, ahead of what is going to be a very special weekend for Evan and for the family and indeed for the whole community. And Nicole, what a pleasure to meet you here this morning. Thanks for speaking to me. And the wreath is up in your house too. I can see, I can see behind you. Nicole is with me. Evan may join us, and he's welcome to jump in the conversation anytime. But this is a story that people have been talking about across the country. Nicole, our viewers in particular haven't yet heard it, so I'm, I'm anxious to bring them it to them today. It's unfortunately a very heartwarming story that begins with some some bad news. Evan, your son has has brain cancer and has had for five years. And what was the the hard news that your family got? Um, in September, we learned that his tumor had changed. Um, it actually had grown in size and started branching out into other sections of the brain. Um, you know, at that time, um, Evans already did 70 weeks of chemotherapy as well. He did 30 rounds of radiation and chemotherapy. Um, they said to me that there was no more treatment options available. Um, so, you know. Um, and suggested that you do what? You know, I asked them and I said, is he going to be here for Christmas? Um, they couldn't give me an answer um, and you know even when they did you know explain themselves they still can give me what kind of state you know wh where would he be at in this journey come December um, this tumor is very aggressive you know it, it is changing his health very rapidly and you know I couldn't leave it up to you know faith and hope that you know we would have everything we wished for um, so so the family got involved but then this this went beyond the family I mean the family didn't just decide to celebrate this has just spiraled into a whole community mobilization so what happened after after that well you know um, I asked my family like you said for a family Christmas um, I got that um, but you know my cousin Shelley Wellwood thought it would be a really neat idea if you know the businesses and you know residents of St. George um, you know, kind of put up some lights, even if it was just a few things, you know, so that Evan could have that authentic feel of what it's like, you know, driving around Christmas night, you know, looking at all the town lights and, you know, th that's something that just means the world to him. Um, you know, so she reached out to the community and, you know, it just exploded from there. You know, yeah, it's, it, it's not just a few lights, is it? I mean, we're looking at the pictures. What does it look like in St. George right now, Nicole? It honestly looks like Christmas, you know, everything about it you look down our street every house is lit up um, you look out his window you know in the backyard you see people have got their fences that are facing us all decorated with lights signs saying you know merry christmas evan and family um the, it's just totally been amazing watching this community watching you know people outside the community just pull together for one common cause you know tomorrow's going to be a really big day to tell everybody what's happening tomorrow for the family and in the community well, tomorrow there is a Santa Claus parade, um, you know, that has been obviously set up for Evan. Um, it will go by our place. Uh, you know, there, there's also a lot of special things that will be happening tomorrow. Um, you know, Evan uh, has uh, always wanted to become a police officer. Um, so tomorrow he will have a very special surprise um, with the OPP uh, that, you know, have worked very hard to pull this off. Oh. Isn't that extraordinary? We've got to be careful on the details because I know he's not too far from you and we don't want to ruin the surprise for Evan, particularly if he, if he joins us in the interview as we, have a, as we carry on our conversation. But this is all for him. Uh, he knows, does he know that the, the parade's coming? You know, we've talked about okay. the parade. Um, you know, Evan has had a little bit of trouble with his memory the last uh, week more so. Um, you know, so, you know, he knows you know something's coming um yesterday we said you know santa claus is on his way we're we're really trying to get you know the spirits up with them isn't uh, that wonderful but so it'll be it's still a surprise it'd be kind of nice to have the surprise anyway but he has had a chance i know you've ridden through town with him and showed him the lights and showed him the decorations and what does he think about that he's honestly in amazement he just sits there and he stares out the window and he just you know he's very silent you know he just takes in everything um you know, I think Evan, you know, he's a very, uh, you know, amazing kid. You know, he, he just, 
he sees thankful. You know, that that is one thing. You know, I, I read him the stuff that's coming through Twitter and Facebook. And, you know, this is really boosting his spirits to know so many people love him. Um, you know, it, it is giving him strength right now. Well, we're showing the Facebook side on, on, on camera as well because people who have heard about this have been sending in wishes and they've come from, I mean, it's extraordinary. Nicole, as you know, Belgium and Germany and Greece and Saudi Arabia and all around the world to boost his spirits. And I would imagine yours as mom of this fighting boy, you know, who's going through this very challenging time. What's it like to see the whole world, but certainly your small world, but the, the, everybody coming together for you and for Evan? It's honestly a, a very overwhelming experience. Um, you know, like I've said to many, uh, Evan is just one child that faces childhood cancer. Um, you know, there's numerous children out there across the world that fight this awful, awful monster. A lot of them, you know, don't don't survive. Um, you know, it, 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 it's it's been a very, um, you know, there's a mixture of emotions for sure. You know, I'm, you know, torn with amazement, inspiration, you know, complete awe for, you know, what the world has done, what St. George has done. Um, but on the same note, you know, it, it, it's very heartbreaking to me because, you know, he is, like I said, not the only child out there that is fighting cancer right now. What has Evan's favorite thing about Christmas been to this point? Right now, I think, you know, the Christmas lights are up there. Um, I know the Christmas party that we had on Monday um, of family and friends, that definitely was up there. Uh, you know, Santa Claus made an appearance and, you know, knew all the kids by name, of course, and, uh, you know, had Evan's favorite things as presents, um, you know, and, uh, you know, it, it's just been truly uh, amazing. Like, he, he, I think every part of this he, he really has loved, like, you know, we have Christmas angels, you know, every night um, Christmas angels leave presents at the door for each of the boys. Um, you know, he, has, so he has brothers Logan and Tyson, too, so they're in on this as well. Well, listen, it's as we say, you know, when Christmas is coming, it's one more sleep until uh, until the parade and the special events tomorrow. You're absolutely right. What an extraordinary response from St. George. I, I imagine you can't say enough about them. And, uh, and just watching that, even uh, for us, and as we tell the story, it's it's remarkable. All, you know, the very best. Thinking of your family tomorrow and, and of Evan, and please wish him well from us and from everyone who's following your story all around the world, Nicole. Thank you so much. Really